I'm going to go through quickly um, what Polkadot is, what Akala is, um, kind of the current state of affairs in the Polkadot ecosystem, um, talk about where Akala is heading kind of strategically, and then um, go through a little bit around the Akala ecosystem program and how we can help support um, developers and how we're already kind of supporting developers and startups in our ecosystem. Um, but first, I think it makes sense to start with what Polkadot is. So Polkadot is very, very complex. If you um, go to the Polkadot wiki and start reading kind of te technical documentation and so on. But at, at its core, Polkadot is really good at two things. So number one, securing blockchains. Polkadot provides security to all the blockchains that you see in this diagram here. Um, whereas on other ecosystems, other kind of multi-chain ecosystems, so the, if you think about like Cosmos and things like that, the biggest difference is that every Cosmos chain has to secure itself, meaning that the developers have to spend time, energy, and resources recruiting validators and lots of capital to secure their chain to make sure that they have, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars to secure their blockchain. The reason why Akala's co-founders three and a half years ago chose to build on Polkadot after evaluating Cosmos, evaluating ETH2 um, and Polkadot was because Polkadot provides this security that we can basically just plug our blockchain into. The second thing that Polkadot is really good at is connecting blockchains together. So Polkadot provides native interoperability between all blockchains that are connected to Polkadot. So this, um, this new kind of trend that you're hearing about with modular blockchains or application specific blockchains, Polkadot's been doing this for over five years. So Polkadot is kind of making a bet on application specific blockchains built for specific purposes, um, which I'll get into about Akala, but this allows a lot of different chains doing one specific thing to work together um, rather than um, kind of legacy platforms like Ethereum trying to be very like very generic and allow any sort of application, whether, whether that's gaming or DeFi or IoT, um, not, not actually specializing in any one thing, but try, just trying to do a lot of different things. Um, I've covered a, a few of these. I think one that I'll mention um, bottom left that's relevant to developers is Substrate. So another reason why Akala chose to build in the Polkadot ecosystem is because of the Polkadot SDK, which is called Substrate. Um, Substrate is modular in nature. It's been, its purpose is to allow us to build specific building blocks or components that we call pallets that allow new functionality to be introduced into the blockchain. The really cool thing about Substrate is a lot of these pallets have already been built, but there's also a lot of pallets that haven't been built or are currently being built. So how do you inject a new pallet or new functionality into a blockchain um, without causing a huge commotion with a fork? Well, with Substrate, we can, any developer can upgrade their chain without forking. So if you build, let, let's say Chainlink builds a new palette for Oracles, or let's say Akala builds a new palette for liquid staking. You can simply add that to your blockchain and upgrade the chain without having to fork. It's a huge deal and it allows any chain on Polkadot and Polkadot itself to be essentially future-proof because we're, we're constantly upgrading. You may know this, but Gavin Wood, um, he was the original CTO of Ethereum. He also invented Solidity. He also invented the EVM, um, but what did he do? He left Ethereum back in 2016 because he knew that it wasn't going to scale. He, he kind of had foresight into the gas fee issues, into the lack of scalability and build Polkadot, um, built Polkadot and Substrate around 2016, 2017. And then five, five or so years later now, all of this stuff is beginning to come to life. Um, so now let's get into Akala, now that you have the background on Polkadot. So um, Akala has four co-founders that I work uh, really closely with and I'm actually very lucky to work with. Um, Betty, Brian, Rui Tao, and Fu Yao here are the four co-founders. Of, most of them are, are primarily based in Auckland. We also have an office in, in Auckland, New Zealand. And then Fu Yao and his team are based in Shanghai, China. And we have about... 50, 55 people globally, um, very globally distributed. However, um, a concentration in New Zealand and China, like I mentioned. 
Um, Akala is the number one engineering team in the Polkadot ecosystem by Substrate and Polkadot GitHub commits. Brian Chen, our CTO, also runs and started the only Substrate Developer Academy globally. Um, Akala is the number one parachain in terms of um, winning the parachain auction, which is required to launch on Polkadot. We were also first to launch on Kusama. And we, the more you get to know the Akala team, the more you'll see that we are very, very engineering and product focused people. Um, I think I was the second non-engineering hire and we still only have um, less than 10 people on the team working on anything other than engineering and product. So we're very focused on great, um, delivering great products. Um, speaking of products, our main um, kind of our core product of everything that we've built in our blockchain or, or our parachain as we call it in the Polkadot ecosystem is the AUSD um, over collateralized and decentralized stablecoin. Uh, when Akala was being built about three, three and a half years ago, we realized that if you have this whole ecosystem of up to 100 blockchains connected to Polkadot, there has to be some sort of a financial infrastructure, a stablecoin native to those blockchains. So we built AUSD with Substrate that I mentioned to be native to Polkadot, which means that AUSD can be transferred without trust, without bridges, to any of the other blockchains on Polkadot using um, the cross-chain messaging that Polkadot enables. Um, I know many people watching are developers. So here's a look at the, the tech stack of Akala. Um, starting from the bottom, we've got the, the white block here is the Akala blockchain. So all the products that you see here, the liquid staking product, AUSD, of course, um, Akala swap is a DEX similar to Uniswap V2. Um, and then all these substrate features that we've built in, these are all pallets, like I mentioned. So these are pallets built into our blockchain. So you can almost think about this if you like comparisons. Think about DAI and Uniswap and Lido liquid staking all being built into Ethereum's blockchain. So that's what we're kind of, that's what we're able to do now. And because AUSD is built into our chain, as well as the stacks, for example, any application building on top of Akala in the EVM plus environment can tap into the functionality of these different pallets, as well as the liquidity of things like AUSD or the DEX. Um, the EVM plus is another kind of Akala specific innovation. We've built our own custom EVM over the past year. It just started launching about two weeks ago. Um, and the first step application is live on our Kusama based network, which is kind of an experimental network. And then all the first um, dApps are beginning to launch on Akala soon too. We chose to make a bet on Substrate um, more so than copy pasting an EVM and just trying to be better, faster, cheaper. Um, we believe Substrate is the future much more so than EVM, but there's such a huge developer community and so much adoption around EVM that we are also, of course, making a bet on the EVM being a major component of, of Polkadot and these parachains going forward. But the EVM that we built is basically a substrate kind of environment with an EVM inside of that. We built an adapter that allows the EVM to interact with substrate. So anything that you see in the bottom here built with substrate can be tapped into or leveraged from the EVM using pre-compiled smart contracts. So really cool, um, I guess, environment for developers to build in if you want to get kind of the best of both worlds between Ethereum and, and what Substrate and Polkadot have built. A um, couple just points to make on AUSD, especially given the recent events with stablecoins in the crypto industry. Um, AUSD is over collateralized. You can think of it like a multi-chain version of DAI that has been improved with Substrate to improve things like liquidations, um, dollar peg stability, and things like this. Um, it's also natively multi-chain. So like I said, AUSD is serving all parachains on Polkadot and Kusama. This is a... A, a little look at our, our ecosystem. So working with a lot of different parachain teams um, in the Polkadot ecosystem, a lot of DeFi products, of course, our chain is optimized for DeFi. So if you have an interest in building a DeFi product or are building a DeFi product, Akala is definitely the best place for you guys um, to be building. 
Um, and then there's other teams on here that I'll get into a little bit later um, with our kind of strategy of moving more into this kind of world where we're providing a web three or crypto backend for traditional web two fintech or banking companies. Um, in addition to all the crypto native um, application development and work that we're doing there. So Polkadot has been, been being built for quite a while. It's been around five or six years, but cross-chain messaging just launched on Polkadot about 1.8, two months ago um, on May 4th. This is a really big deal because people constantly ask about Polkadot because it has been around for a while, but Polkadot is one of the only ecosystems that you'll find that was built from scratch and built for the long run with things like decentralization in mind um, and just keeping kind of these crypto crypto punk or cypher punk uh, ethos at heart as we continue to build and build and not taking shortcuts just for short-term hype. This is a current look at um, Kusama, which is Polkadot's experimental network. So this is showing um, 19 parachains connected to Akala's um, Kusama-based chain, Karura. And then Polkadot, of course, launched after Kusama, so it's still a little bit earlier, but a lot of these cross-chain channels getting opened up and a lot of activity beginning to start between um, all these different um, chains. Um, Akala does a few things for the ecosystem now. So we are the DeFi or liquidity kind of hub of the Polkadot ecosystem. So this allows us to provide credit for people who are, for example, holding DOT or want to stake DOT. Um, and then also we provide this gateway to, to a mass market audience of, of consumers through um, what I'll mention a little bit later with our um, kind of hybrid approach of provide, providing blockchain or crypto, uh, crypto specific infrastructure, as well as enterprise ready infrastructure to provide DeFi products to the mass market who are using DeFi through their fintech or through their bank or through whatever service provider they're um, interacting with. So current.com is a great example of that. This is a fintech company based in New York City in the US with 4 million customers. And we're integrating with Current on the back end to provide DeFi products to Current's 4 million customers, um, mostly based in the US who are used to using the Current app for um, checking, simple checking account, they receive their paychecks, their savings accounts, um, and then of course the debit card that comes with Current Soon, they will be introducing crypto products, so buying and selling crypto basics, but then being able to interact with DeFi, so things like liquid staking or maybe holding a stable coin and using that in DeFi to earn um, a higher rate of return. Um, along the same lines with these kind of real world interactions, we also have a lot of teams building on Akala who are kind of bl blending or blurring the lines of, of Web 2 and Web 3. So, MuFi is a really cool example of three um, music industry veterans from um, Brooklyn, New York. And they're building a app that spans multiple parachains on Polkadot. So like I mentioned before, multiple application specific parachains supporting one dApp under the hood and the users will never know that they're interacting with multiple chains behind the scenes. So MuFi is solving this problem where it takes artists on Spotify who are streaming six to eight months to get paid after they stream, after their songs are streamed on Spotify. So MuFi is taking the data from the Spotify API and embedding that into a, an NFT. And then with Centrifuge, which is a real world asset lending platform, Centrifuge will be using that collateral to issue AUSD loans as advanced payments to those artists who want to get paid when they deserve to be paid instead of waiting six to 18 months and by then who knows, they may have lost momentum or missed opportunities. And then Zifty is another really cool example, um, also from the US, from San Diego. They're building real world um, asset NFTs um, using real estate. So they're working with all the local kind of um, real estates and, and legal bodies to already figure out how, how to make this work with the existing system, but allowing people to privately and quickly uh, purchase NFTs, sorry, purchase real estate using NFTs. So these can be purchased with things like 
um, Polkadot assets like DOT, as well as Bitcoin and others. So um, what's next for Akala in terms of our strategy? Um, this is a, a reminder of our current tech stack. So the, the blockchain here, the EVM plus, and then the application environment. Um, so in addition to continuing to run this open and unpermissioned um, environment, we're also gonna be standing up a KYC and AML kind of permission DeFi environment, similar to what you may have seen with like Ave Arc and others. But this most importantly allows us to tap into regulated entities who need to have um, permissioned compliant and KYC enabled environments like enterprises, fintechs, banks, but they can then bring in all of their millions of customers to leverage what Akala is building because of the compliant environment that we've built. So kind of be in the future, gonna be running both of these in parallel. And the cool thing is as an application team, you can launch in one, both, or either of these. So running an application in the open on permission environment, you could also run it in a KYC environment if you wanna tap into kind of more of an enterprise customer or mass market customers that are using these um, enterprises. One example of this is um, our work with Alluvial. So Alluvial, Coinbase Cloud, um, Figment and Akala are working together on a compliant and enterprise grade liquid staking solution for institutions and for all of their millions of customers. So this will allow um, these institutional customers, mass market customers to start using um, liquid dot staking in a permissioned environment that meets the needs of, of the enterprises. So non-custodial security reporting and so on. And then another example of this is Project Bankman. So this is a team building um, on-chain loyalty points. They're, they're taking existing loyalty programs. So major airlines, major brands who want to have the benefits of being a, a token. So taking these liabilities off of their balance sheets and turning them into assets, allowing users to transfer uh, loyalty between one another. And then in the airline example, imagine being able to have your airline status as an NFT and be able to, to sell that or transfer that to your family member. Or on the other hand, something I would like to do, not have to spend all the time and, and, and effort and money to get to this certain level of status, instead being able to just buy gold status or buy platinum status if that's what you um, want. So finally, I'm gonna wrap it up with just a look at um, how we can support you and developer teams in the Polkadot ecosystem through um, sorry, the Polkadot and Akala ecosystem through the Akala um, ecosystem program that we've put together. So one component of this is Akala grants from the foundation. Another is the $250 million AUSD ecosystem fund that we've launched along with nine other teams in the Polkadot ecosystem and over 30 of the top venture capital funds in the, in the world. And then um, the Akala builders program being last. So quick rundown of this. So the ecosystem fund is meant for teams looking to do fundraising. This means raising a seed round or series A or, or one of your initial rounds to get the team off the ground and, and to pay for operations. Uh, we've, we've kind of partnered up with um, all of these different funds. So uh, Polychain, DCG, Pantera, um, Hashed, Jump, Kraken are a few listed here. And then all these other parachains are, are also participating because we are looking to help fundraising rounds for any team building on any parachain, whether that's a Kala or whether that's other parachains, but teams building around AUSD as a use case. So even perfect for this hackathon, ideal projects are things like money markets, um, different tooling, asset management platforms, DEXs. Uh, these are all examples that would um, be you know, qualified to be fun supported by this fund. Grants, again, typically around um, 10K, 25K, 50K, um, Akala is giving grants out to teams who are building open source tech and that benefits the broader Akala ecosystem. And then last, the Akala Builders Program is more kind of hands-on, almost like incubation a little bit for teams who maybe they're getting ready for fundraising or maybe they've done fundraising and they're looking to take 
things to the next step. Um, like I said, we're the top engineering team in the Polkadot ecosystem. So we're there to help with frequent check-ins, um, get a group chat going with you and, and our developers and helping you through technical support questions and how to launch in the EVM plus if that's where you're building. Um, consultation with like people like me, I'm, I'm helping a lot of different teams with things like marketing, setting up community, um, setting up business development operations, even branding logos, stuff like that are different things that we've already helped um, teams out with. And then um, liquidity support. So if you're a DeFi project, we can help out there um, as well as more DeFi kind of um, in the in the details with things like tokenomics and an advisory on DeFi support. So that's it for the presentation. Uh, thanks a lot for the attention. Definitely looking forward to helping um, you guys build in the Akala ecosystem. Um, please contact us, whether that's in our Discord. Um, my contact information is here, um, but looking forward to, to meeting you and working with all of you. Thank you.